We don't have the final word in those things yet, but I would say it's definitely trending in the right direction based on what we know so far. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, John Harbaugh provided updates, vague updates, but updates nonetheless uh, when it came to rookie first round pick Kyle Hamilton and also uh, left tackle Ronnie Stanley, who both have just had been having good seasons really good seasons um and they both got started late in their own way kyle hamilton uh the game looked like it was a bit fast for him he looked a little out of place early on but as the season has gone along he's looked better and better and more and more comfortable ronnie stanley of course he was coming back from injury um he hadn't really played in the past two years uh but he was coming back and and he looked great and he made like his impact was felt immediately. They started him on that pitch count early on, but after they got rid of that, he'd been a full goal, and he has just been amazing, man, straight up. Um, so these are two significant injuries to the team. But Ronnie Stanley, uh, when it came to Ronnie Stanley, well, let's just read what Harbaugh said on both of them. He said, Ronnie Stanley still has an MRI to get, so we'll find out the final on that. But it was trending really well last night and yesterday morning. So two nights ago on Sunday and then on Monday morning. So Ronnie Stanley got to still get checked out. Um, one thing that concerns me is that Ronnie Stanley was in a walking boot after the game. Now, I know the walking boot could mean a lot of things. But I, um, I remember last time that I saw a Ravens player in a walking boot after the game. So many Ravens fans told me, no, no, no. It's just extra precaution. No, no, no. He'll be fine. No, no, no. He'll be straight. You over worrying, man. You you making it. You being dramatic. Da 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 da. About Rashad Bateman. And what happened? So I, I I hope that that does not happen with Ronnie Stanley. But it is definitely cause for concern, especially when it's an ankle injury. And I'm pretty sure. Let me know if I'm wrong, though. But I'm pretty sure it's the same ankle that he had issues with before. But. We'll see what happens with Ronnie Stanley. Um, the, the the boot just scares me, though, straight up. The, the, the walking boot, that's a scary sight to see, especially for your starting left tackle who has just dealt with injury after injury after injury after injury after injury after injury. Um, and it's been unfortunate for him, man, because Ronnie Stanley, great player, phenomenal player, uh, but just the injuries just it has been a big part of his career. Um, so hopefully it doesn't end up being anything serious or anything too serious. Um, so we just got to wait and see. We got to wait and see. Um, with Kyle Hamilton, uh, Harbaugh said that the x-rays look good. So it's trending in the right way and his knee is stable. Like that, but that part, like that's good to hear that he had x-rays. His knee is stable, but stable doesn't, I don't know. That don't give really give me a boost of confidence. Like, you hear, and I know this is an extreme, but when you hear people like in the hospital, they say, oh, they're in stable condition. It's like, all right, they straight. They getting by. They ain't at their best. They still in a lot of pain, but I, good. I know that's an extreme comparison, but still stable just doesn't scream, all right, he, he'll be ready for next week to me. Uh, so we'll see what happens with Kyle Hamilton. Well, it was nice to see he was right there standing up. In the post, uh, the post game locker room celebration and all the speech and all that, um, but I don't know, man. We just gotta wait and see. Uh, Cause, like I said, both of these two guys, they they were having a big impact uh, on these Baltimore Ravens. Ronnie Stanley uh, improved the offensive line by a mile, by probably like three miles. Um, he just helped so much, right? Like literally right away. And the offensive line, for the most part, they still got their little hiccups here and there. <laughs> like Morgan Moses watching Brian Burns go by. Anyway, um, they still got their hiccups here and there. But overall, they have been doing uh, a much better job than they had without uh, a Ronnie Stanley. And I mean, anytime you get an all pro back, you, you should do better. So that's the expectation. And he surprised me this year because I, I told you all first going into the season, I felt like anything we were getting out of Ronnie Stanley was going to be a bonus. Because I feel like the Ravens couldn't and shouldn't depend on Ronnie Stanley because of the injury history and because what he had just been through. Um, so I was glad to see him back. But I also talked about how I couldn't expect him to get back to what he was before right away. Um, I felt like it was going to take some time, possibly even throughout this whole season. But he got back to it um, and he'd been playing really good. 
Uh, so that's a huge blow. So we'll see what happens with him. And as far as Kyle Hamilton, um, he he was a luxury pick. I feel like it's it's crazy because he, these are two luxury players. Because one, again, Ronnie Stanley, I felt like with him, he anything that the Ravens got out of him would be a, a luxury. Uh, but with Kyle Hamilton, I feel like he was actually a luxury pick. Um, but in the long run, we will see. I, I do expect the Ravens to see the improvement uh, of quality at the safety position with him being there, uh, with him and Marcus Williams when they finally get going. Uh, that should be a nice thing to see uh, because he brings a lot of athleticism. So I guess in the long run, it won't be a luxury pick. I think this year was more of a luxury pick, though, but um, they've been using them more and more. And the, one, my, the biggest thing that I've been the most impressed with with Kyle Hamilton um, over this stretch has been the open field tackling. It's been open field tackling. I know uh, in preseason, uh, there were a lot of people that were extra concerned about Kyle Hamilton and, and his tackling, how he missed some tackles, how some people shook him a couple times. They were like, oh, man, he's a bust. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, hold up there. Wait a minute, buddy. You, you, you calling somebody a bust in a preseason? Like, really? I just, that, that I, 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 can ne- I can never get with that, man. Calling somebody a bust in a preseason. Now, like, that, it, that's just crazy. Um, but anyway, he, um, he had some hiccups in the preseason and whatnot. And then in the first couple of weeks, too. But after that, things have just... And it's all about repetition, man. It's all about repetition, doing the same thing over and over until you really get it, until you get more and more comfortable with it. And Kyle Hamilton has shown that he's more and more comfortable uh, with the game, with the speed of the NFL. And he's looked more smoother. He looked better. Again, the, the tackling has been just a beautiful thing to see. And Kyle Hamilton is not just a safety. He's also a pass rusher. He's a pass rusher. So we got even more depth at the pass rush position too, but now nah, he's been um, he's been looking better and better uh, as the season has gone on. Now um, with Harbaugh, with him saying the vague stuff that he said, um, said Kyle Hamilton stable, Ronnie his stuff look good right now. They got to still get the final word and whatnot, and they really got to get the final word on both of them. We'll see. Um, we should know very like extremely soon. Um, and for me. Like, regardless of what Harbaugh says, I know an an official injury is going to come out, but we'll really know the severity come, I mean, by Wednesday at the latest, by when, because they start practicing again on Wednesday. So if they're out there on Wednesday or they're not out there on Wednesday, then that'll be a clear indication of the severity. And obviously, um, they could miss Wednesday and come back Thursday, could miss Wednesday and Thursday, come back Friday. But this week, when it comes to practicing, Cause I know Harbaugh can give all the injury updates that we want to hear, and da da da. Oh, it looks good. It sounds good. Everything's fine. And but then if you don't see them on the practice field, it's like, oh, is is it really that fine? So that's just something to look out for. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Hopefully, uh, Kyle Hammy and Ronnie Stanley, they'll be back uh, very, very, very soon. Um, I'm honestly not expecting them to play against the Jaguars. Um, just based off of what Harbaugh said alone. Uh, and then you add the walking boot from Ronnie Stanley to that. I just, I don't expect him to play against the Jaguars. But that's just me. I'm no doctor. What do I know? We'll, we'll, we'll see the official word, though. But maybe by today, maybe by tomorrow. Uh, but definitely this week, we'll definitely know. Uh, have a, m- a more definitive answer, a definitive timetable on how long they will be out for. But I appreciate y'all watching. Thank y'all for spending a couple of minutes with us every single day. We out.